Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna introduce you to the CC Tritone effect. This is a great effect if you just wanna give something an instant vintage look, or if you just want more creative control of the colors for the highlights, midtones, and shadows of your footage. To demonstrate the Tritone effect, I'm gonna use this video footage that I downloaded for free on pexels.com as it's really clear where the highlights, midtones, and shadows are. To add the CC Tritone effect, I'm gonna first create an adjustment layer. By putting the effect on an adjustment layer, that means whatever I add below the adjustment layer is going to be affected or colorized by the effect. To add a new adjustment layer, I can just right click in an empty area in the comp window or down here in the layers panel, or I can come up to the top menu, go to layer, new adjustment layer. Now I'm gonna go to the effects and presets panel. If you don't see that, go to the window menu and check effects and presets. I'll click in the search field and I'm just gonna start typing out Tritone. T-R-I-T-O-N-E. There you'll see Tritone. And I'm just gonna drag it right onto the adjustment layer. And just like that, we have a vintage Tritone effect on this footage. With the adjustment layer selected, now it's just a matter of going to the effect controls and customizing the tritone effect by changing the colors for the highlights, midtones, and shadows to get the look that you want. Just click on a color swatch to open up the color picker where you can select a new color. There's an eyedropper tool that you can use and there's also an eyedropper next to each of the properties where you can just click and you can select a new color. And if you're not that familiar with the terms highlights, midtones, and shadows, I would recommend just clicking on the color swatch, changing some colors so you can see what is affected as you change the colors. The highlights are gonna be the lightest or the brightest parts of your footage. I'll try this light yellow for that. The midtones is gonna be kind of the neutral mid values of your footage. I'm just gonna keep it at that same default brown. And the shadows are gonna be the darkest parts of your footage. I'm gonna try kind of a dark blue. And if you like the colors, but maybe it's just a little bit too much for you, well, there's this blend with original. As you increase the percentage, the original footage is going to show through. So at 100%, the tritone effect is not affecting this footage at all. And as you decrease the percentage, you're gonna start introducing the colors that you have selected in the tritone effect. And for a before and after, I can go up to effect controls. I'll click on FX. This is the original footage. And this is with the tritone effect blended with the original at 50%. For the finishing touches, I added some dust and scratches that I downloaded from Envato Elements. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check those out. But that is the CC tritone effect. And it's not limited to just creating vintage effects. It's whenever you want to change the color for the highlights, shadows, or midtones in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.